I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Maestro on how to build a molecule, and then I'm going to show you how to submit calculations to Jaguar on the supercomputer. I'm going to be following along with Bill Goddard's Problem Set 1 from his CH121 class, which I'll link below. Depending on which firmware you have, you will need Terminal for Mac or MOBA Xterm for Windows, and you will need free Maestro, which you could download from schrodinger.com backslash free Maestro. So first we're going to begin by building your molecule. We're going to go up here and click on this build button. This will bring up the build menu here. In the top left we have this button to add a structure. We're going to click on it and then we can name our structure according to what we want. So for this tutorial we're going to name it butadiene. Go ahead and type it in and press enter. Now we have a structure. To build a molecule we can now go down here to add fragment where there's multiple molecular presets such as benzene, cyclohexane, etc. We could also go over here to this dot button and click it for other presets such as organics, rings, metal centers, etc. For this tutorial I'm going to draw butadiene so I'm going to click on this draw button. Doing that will bring up all the atoms available to me to calculate and I could click on this dot button to bring up the periodic table. For butadiene, I only need carbon, so I'm going to exit out of here. Now to start building my structure, I'm just going to go ahead and click to start with a methane. So we'll click. Now we have our methane, and since we need to build butadiene, I could click on my hydrogens to continue building the carbon background. So I'm going to click here with carbon selected. Now I have ethane. Click again to make propane. Then click once more to make butane. And now we have our base structure. I'm going to click OK. So we're done building. And now what I need to do is increase the bond order for butadiene. So I'm going to click on this bond and I'm going to click on the plus button. We could either increase or decrease the bond order according to these two buttons here. I'm going to click plus to increase the bond order. I could also click minus to decrease it back down. Then I'm going to click on this bond over here again to make butadiene. So we now have our structure. Let's say, for example, I added to one nitrogen here. I could click on draw, select nitrogen, and then click on this atom to make my nitrogen group. Um, if I wanted to add, for example, fluorine, I click on fluorine, click on the atom, and add a fluorine group. But for butadiene, we're just going to keep it a hydrogen. Now I want to minimize my entire structure to give Jaguar a better guess, so I'm going to select it by either dragging over the entire structure. I could also do this by doing Control A. If I also have, for example, two molecules, I could go into molecule mode by pressing M, such, and then clicking on my desired molecule. And then to minimize the overall structure, I go to this button here, which minimizes my selected structure based on uh, molecular mechanics. So now you can see it's slightly modified, and this will give me a better guess for the calculation. Now that we've built our molecule, we'll go ahead and go up to Tasks, go to Browse, and this shows us all the different softwares that are available with Maestro. So for our purposes, we're going to be doing a Jaguar calculation, so we'll click on Jaguar. We have many available calculations such as single point energies, optimizations, coordinate scans, etc. Um, for this calculation, we're going to be doing optimization. So again, I'm going to go to Tasks, Browse, Jaguar, and then click on Optimization. This brings up the optimization menu here. So the first tab is the input. It shows us which structure we're going to be calculating on. It shows us the charge and the spin multiplicity. These two numbers will adjust each other according to what charge is set. So for example, if I take the charge and set it to minus one, it'll automatically know that the spin should increase to either doublet or quartet. But for now, we'll just do neutral. Here we can select the basis set. There's many, many different options depending on what we want. For now, we're just gonna stick with a popple basis set, double zeta. We could add polarization and diffuse functions if we wish. Um, the next tab is the theory, so it lets us select whether we want DFT, Hardy Fock, PT2, etc. We could change the spin treatment to unrestricted if we wish, or we could do time dependent DFT. For now, we'll just stick with normal DFT. We could change the grid mesh depending on how fine we want the integration mesh. We could change what function we want to use, so there's hybrid, LDA, um, gradient corrected. Um, we could also go down and click on other for all the available functionals. For now, we're just going to stick with v3lib d3 with the empirical correction. SDF, we could change if we wanted to do a quick SDF or if we want to tighten the convergence criteria and make it analytic. We could change what guess we want to use for the actual wave function. We could change how many iterations of SDF we want it to do before it fails and what we want the convergence criteria to be. We could also add thermal smearing. 
Here for optimization, we could change how many optimization steps we wanted to do and whether or not we want the convergence criteria to be tight. Um, we could also set constraints. So for example, I could click on Cartesian XYZ to constrain an atom to its Cartesian coordinate. I go here and I click on the atom and now you can see there's a XYZ constraint. I could also constrain, for example, a distance between two atoms. If I go here and I click on two atoms, it'll now constrain the distance of those two carbons. Um, in properties, we have things like vibrational frequencies. So if I click on it, I could tell it to do frequencies at a desired pressure and temperature. Um, I could do surfaces such as molecular orbitals or spin densities, electron densities, etc. I could also do, for example, molecule populations, and I could do it by atom, base function, or by bond population. I could also tell Jaguar if I want to use a solvent or not, according to either the PABF or PCM methods, and I could tell it which solvent I want it to use and all the variables for the solvent. So for this case, we could do water. Now that that's all set up, we go down here, we click on the arrow button, and then click on edit. This brings up the text for our calculation. As you can see, we're doing a solvent calculation using the 631 basis set. We're telling it to do a molecular population calculation and a geometry optimization calculation using B3 lib D3 as the functional. We are also doing a frequency calculation. We can now copy all of this and paste it into either terminal or MOBA X term. So we'll go over to terminal on Mac. Uh, to log in, we're gonna do the command SSH and then our username minus CBM at Adam dot wag dot caltech dot edu I'm press enter and then we're going to enter our password now that we're in I'm going to use the make dir command which creates a directory and I'm going to name it homework one I could then do ls to list my current directory and as you can see we've created the homework one directory I can now do cd to change directory and enter the homework one directory press enter I could do pwd to list my current directory. As you can see, we are currently in homework one. I got ls, and obviously there's nothing in here since I just created it. Let's now vi into our desired file. We'll name it butadiene.in. We can now press i to insert mode and then paste our text for our calculation. We then press escape and then do colon wq to save it. Now if we ls, we've created the butadiene.in file. With the input file created, we now want to submit it to the supercomputer, and we're going to need a submission script. So we're going to copy a submission script into this directory, doing cp, and then the directory where the submission script is located. So for this example, this is the directory, and the file is called sub84atom. The second argument is telling it where to copy to. The dot tells it to copy to the current directory. So we're going to press enter. Now if we ls, we see we have our submission script and our input script. To submit the calculation, we're going to go ahead and type in the name of our submission script, sub 84 atom, the name of our input file, butadiene.in, and then the next two numbers are the number of cores and the number of wall hours we want to allow the calculation to run for. So four cores for 20 hours. And now it tells us the ID of the job. If we do QSTAT, it'll show us all the jobs running currently. We can see here at the bottom, I'm currently running my job. The R at the end shows that it's running. I could also do QSTAT minus U and then my Username, CBM, which shows me all of the jobs that I have running now. Let's say, for example, I want to cancel a job that I accidentally submitted. I could copy the ID of my job, which is here. I could copy this number and then tell it to QDEL that number, and that would kill my job. So in summary, I've showed you how to build a molecule in Maestro, how to set up the calculation, how to log into the cluster, and finally, how to submit your calculation to the supercomputer.